What's up? It's Nephibus. I went on my first interview yesterday where I interviewed, you know, at the same time as somebody else. At least I think it was the first unless I forgot in the past. But um, it really like, it really brought things out to me like of how different I am because I, I really felt very inferior socially. I see why I never get the job because I can't even compare to these, you know, these other people. Like I don't have those those social skills. And what people gotta understand is that when you fake it to make it, you already have those skills. You just don't believe in yourself. But I don't have those skills to begin with to where I can believe in myself and I can do that, that it has to already be there. I don't have it there at all. So I can't fake what does not exist. And people don't understand it. It's like you have that skill, but you just don't believe in it. And it's like, as far as like my resume, my resume is shit. Like I don't, I don't stay anywhere, anywhere that long. And it's always because of, of social issues. Problems that I have with co-workers, in a lot of cases, managers. It's always socially related. Like, every job I have ever quit in my entire life, it's always socially related. My problem is with being social. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm horrible at it. And I need something where I don't have to be social. And another thing that I've realized that I really need, I need those people who, who are support because I don't have good social support. And what I mean by that is if things go bad, I'll have those people who will, you know, like, oh, you know, everything's going to be OK. And then, of course, I'll have those other people who will just not respond or they'll be apathetic. But I don't have those people who are like, yo, you got this. You can do this. Go follow your dreams. I feel like it's crazy because if anybody tells me they want to do any anything, I'm like, yo, you got this. You good, you're an amazing person. Like, yo, don't give up, keep doing your thing. But I don't really have that. I understand people are busy, but I just got to find some type of way to be around artists who are like, yo, we about to make our dreams happen. Like, that's what I need to be around. And it's no offense to the people who are depressed, they're going through their shit and whatever else like that. It's just, I really need it. Because dealing with this social media, social media is so, it's so depressing. It really is. Cause it's, it's people angry all the time. And then so many people are apathetic. And then them same people who are apathetic who won't respond when you're going through something or who will respond and say something in a I don't care type way are the same people who expect you to be there for them when they fall. The same people who who want you to entertain them because you're an artist. They want you to make music that they like. But it's like, but then you sit there and you turn around and you don't care about me. And that's why I find it crazy how people will get upset and be like, oh, why do you support this artist? Because they're not giving back to whatever and they don't care about you and blah, blah, blah. And okay, so, and I'm not saying artists shouldn't care about their fans, but I'm just making the point that it's very hypocritical to sit there and feel any type of way about you thinking an artist doesn't care about people when not one single one of their fans care about the artist except for the fact that the artist entertains them. They care about that entertainment for themselves. They don't care about that artist. They don't care who they are as a person because those same exact fans, they would take $5,000 from that artist and be like, oh, well, they have plenty of money. You don't do that to somebody that you care about. And that's the thing, those, those are the same people who, if that artist goes through a breakup or whatever emotional problems, those same people be like, oh, you got all of this money. You shouldn't be sad. You shouldn't have any emotional problems. You should be happy, life should be good. If I had all the money you had, I wouldn't care, I would be good. People who care about somebody don't say things like that. And it's already hard enough being an artist because you're so different. You're so different, you get rejected, people don't like you. And then once you start getting into this position where, oh, you're entertaining people and people like what you do, then at that point, 
You're no longer even human. You don't get treated like a human being. People don't love you. People don't care about you. All they care about is what you do for them. How you make them happy. How you make their day happy. So you don't really have real friends. You just have people who sit around you leeching off of whatever you give. And it doesn't have to be financial. Just leeching off of your life. And you really need those people who are like, who tell you to stay strong, who are like, yo, I got your back, I'm here for you, like, you can do this, whatever, that's, that's what you really need, especially in this day and age where everybody is just so angry and trying to rip somebody a new one, it's like you're walking on eggshells, you say one wrong thing and everybody's gonna rip you a new one. It's like, what's, what's the point of having the First Amendment if this is what you have to deal with? And you're probably gonna lose your job if you say one wrong thing. Like, you could be an artist and ban them from the radio or whatever, whatever like that. And it's just crazy. Really, what's the point of the First Amendment if you had the people who were basically turning us into a tyrannical state, like a dictatorship or some shit? Like, it's just crazy to me.